Don't say, ooh, look at Alex. Ooh, Alex acting brand new because I am. I am. y'all and welcome back to my channel i am kicking off this week with lunch with my husband we went to the soft opening of the new culinary dropout that's in perimeter and as you can see this was all good i'm finishing up the closet project and round two of the shoe boxes have come in i've got my painter to come in patch up the holes we painted it black just to match what we already have on the staircase I am in love with this flat matte black color. I got it from Home Depot and Secret. The man at Home Depot told me that Sherwin-Williams has the best quality paint, period. Nala was antsy the whole time the painter was here, but when he got done, it looked so good. Of course, I was anxious, but I let it dry. I can't wait to get all this crap out of the middle of our floors, our room. Oh my God, we've been living like this for like two weeks. It is time for this closet to get done. So here is the before and here is the after. Now, I realize this is not the most dramatic after ever, but the level of organization that this closet now has is exactly what I need because I hate a mess, I love a clean look, and I also like to keep myself from shopping. So, you know this, the shelving is putting limits on me, which is a good thing. So I have organized all of this. Um, my husband is free to come in and change what he wants to, but for now, this is what it looks like. And I'm so happy with it. We have to get more shoe boxes because good God, we have more shoes than I really thought we did. But overall, our clothes fit, the majority of my shoes fit, my purses are here and i don't think we need any more clothes than this so this is good for us i'm gonna put a rug here i absolutely have to do something with this blank wall space i don't know if i want to add hats to the mix look at all my husband's shoes i'm in love with how it turned out and i'm so glad that i did it with the closet under my belt i'm gonna round out this week with a good good needed workout and then I'm gonna get ready to kick start it into the weekend. Finally, the weekend is here. The boys are up early as usual. So that means breakfast has to get on the stove. Might as well start on some chores as well. Get them up and around. And then I'll be able to do a little something for myself. Today, I'm going to get a facial and I haven't had one in a while, so I'm excited to get that done. I'm looking super plain face right now. No lashes, no anything because I'm headed to get a facial. I used to get them every month before I was pregnant. Then I got pregnant. You know, when you're pregnant, you can't do a lot of things. You can't get chemical pills. You can't blah, blah, blah. And you can't lay on your back for that long either. So that was another thing. My skin has taken a toll. I know it looks all right, but I got a few dark marks on this side and my skin has just been super dry. I don't know if it's because I've been sneaking sprites from my mama house or what, but whatever I've been doing, my skin has not been agreeing with me. So come with me to So Amazing Salon Suites and I am going to get a facial. So I just left my facial appointment you see the skin, you see how it's glowing. Um, but basically, she ate me the f I mean, I have been stripping my skin of all its moisture by using African black soap every day. So don't do that, don't be like me. So she ate me up in a very nice professional way. And I I gotta go home and throw a lot of in the garbage can. Yeah. But please believe, by the summertime, I'm gonna have eyelashes. I'm gonna have my eyebrows already coming in. Look, that serum has been working. By the summer, I'm gonna have long lashes, full brows, clear skin. My body gonna be right and tight. You ain't gonna know me. You're not going to know me. I'm gonna be a new woman. My hair gonna be flowing. Lashes is gonna be thriving on their own. My skin is gonna be. I'm excited. I'm excited about my holistic journey that I'm on right now. I'm excited. 
Now me, I'm honest with all my licensed healthcare providers and that includes my esthetician. So she tells me to throw something away and baby, it's gone. She did tell me to get snail mucin, which I already had. So that was a win for me. I've got to get a few more things, but I'll be good to go after that. I'm getting ready for my hair appointment and I got these clippings off Amazon. They were only like 68 bucks. So it wasn't really nothing just to give it a try. I really wanted a new set of clip-ins because the ones I have are kind of worn and my beautician didn't have the length I was looking for at the time. These are going to do just fine. It's time to head out and it's a perfect day to wear this cute little yoga set that I got off Amazon from the QQQ store. They have so many cute little outfits on there. Happy Tuesday, my good people. I have a date with my hairstylist. They said this was Cambodian hair, but it's looking like regular Brazilian, AKA straight out of Chinese factory to me. I got a 14 inch because I just wanna, I don't want them to make my hair longer. When I go to the beauty shop, I'm gonna get her to clip them, shape them. I really just want them to be the same length as my hair. I want some fullness. So that's what the clippings are for. We are gonna see what they're talking about. Everybody who's anybody knows that you're not supposed to go to the beauty shop hungry. So I'm about to stop right here at Yumbi, pick me up some tacos for lunch, and head on over to the salon. I'm really into this workout because even though it's a Maximus class, which is working on your butt, it's also a little bit of weight lifting and it's lifting up my titties. When I tell you, I used to have the most beautiful, wonderful, most gorgeous, fake looking, but they was real titties in the world. And then I breastfed and then they started looking a little bit like they was questioning themselves and I was questioning them too. But now that I'm working out, they getting back. I need them to be up. I need them to be up. And now they're kind of midway. They not down. They not down. They not up like they used to be until now. Until I start working them out. This is brand new construction. The interlock towers where the salon suites are located. This is so cute. They just opened a ton of restaurants. And this area is brand new. I thought it was so funny that my mom ended up booking an appointment the same day as me. When she moved here, I had to put her on all the stylists. If you've ever gotten a beauty service in Atlanta or just recently for that matter, you know how hard it is to find somebody who actually cares about your actual hair health. And that's why I continue to go to Keisha over the years because she really cares about the health of my hair and she does a bomb ass job. <laughs> my husband gonna be happy girl because I got my hair did, okay? And it's looking bouncy and full and cute. <laughs> Y'all better come see this girl. You see my hair, don't you? You see I what I was looking like before I got up in here, okay? So, you wanna look better, you wanna look good, you gotta come see this girl. And just like that, I'm out the door. Baby, you can't tell me nothing, okay? Because y'all see how I was looking like a homeless person before I came up in here, when I was just leaving that gym. And you thought about unsubscribing because I was looking bad. But don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I'm telling y'all, when it get hot outside and I got my, I'm swinging and hanging. Tell me, tell me nothing. When I got my face beat down, and my nails done, and my hair done, and everything did. Don't say, ooh, look at Alex. Ooh, Alex acting brand new because I am. I am. I've been working super hard on myself, so I am really excited about these results. Thank y'all for watching today. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.